Tragedy last night at the National Western Stock Show. 25 year old Mason Lowe died after a bull named Hard Time stepped on his chest during a professional bull riders event. He was ranked 18th in the world and turned pro seven years ago. In an interview, he talked about riding and how it had been a part of his life. We used to have a bunch of dairy calves on the farm in Exeter, Missouri. And, uh, we used to go out there and feed them. And my dad would stick me on the back of them and kind of let me ride them. And, just thought it was fun and uh, never to get on no sheep or nothing. Went straight to calves and steers and peewees and all the way up to this point. A friend and fellow bull rider who grew up with Mason in Missouri called his death heartbreaking. Luke Snyder says Lowe knew the risk, but he loved to win. It's just that's what you have to accept because it's it's not tailywinks or anything. It's a dangerous, very dangerous sport, but um, the friends that you make and the places that you see and uh, the satisfaction and like the feeling of uh, success you get after doing that, you know, Mason got to feel that. And, uh, uh, and that feeling is something that you can't replace and a lot of people may never feel. Before tonight's finals, there was a tribute to Mason Lowe, and we also received new details at the National Western late this afternoon. With the latest information, we want to check in with Nine, Nine News reporter Katie Eastman. She spent the stock show all day. Katie? And Kim, uh, we spoke with the professional bull rider CEO, Sean Gleason, and he said that Mason had been a cowboy his entire life. He started riding milk cows when he was three years old. The sport is straightforward. Hang on with one hand to a bucking bull. But it doesn't come without danger. Come on, son, let's ride! Mason Lowe knew this. The Missouri man has been injured many times in his bull riding career, but he always got back on. Oh, look out, leaderboard, oh boy! There is no way to explain the rush you get bull riding. He told his local paper, the Cassville Democrat, last year, you hold on until you hear the horn and hope you earn enough points to take home some pay. The 25 year old's last bull ride was here on Tuesday night. Absolutely, he's one of the top riders in the world. He was in the top 20 in the world and uh, uh, from all accounts, just a, an outstanding human being. And uh, the world has lost uh, another great individual that uh, uh, you know, passed away in a sport that he absolutely loved. People in the stands say he got thrown off his bull. Mason stood up, walked to the fence, but then fell to the ground again and was taken away by medics. The National Western Stock Show CEO Paul Andrews believes this is the show's first bull riding death. There are dangers in bull riding as we've talked about, but um, you know, there's just no way to forecast in the thousands and thousands of rides that these individuals do every year. Uh, there's no way to forecast whether there's going to be a fatal injury at anything like this. And the bull riding finals are tonight. There will be a tribute for Mason Lowe at 7 o'clock. And the National Western Stock Show is also holding a fundraiser for his family. He is survived by his wife, Abby, his parents, his sister, and his niece.